Hi guys, two videos in one day, aren't you just the lucky ones? Well, just a quick one really, because there was a couple of people I wanted to mention in my today's YouTube and I didn't get around to it because I speak too much. I talk too much all the time anyway, that's part and parcel of being Jan Jan. But um, firstly, uh, I want to talk about Steve, you know who you are. Um, he's now doing his own YouTube. He reached out a bit yesterday and said that he was struggling. I just wanted to be a positive advocate, Steve, for you. Um, other people do this for me, so it's kind of paying it back in kind, really, and trying to boost your positivity while you're having self-doubt about your upcoming surgery. Steve's type 1 diabetic, I've mentioned him before, um, and, you know, for him to actually reach out yesterday and say, I'm doubtful, I'm, you know, he's had a few appointments this week, dietitian, and seeing the surgeon, I believe. Um, and it is scary, you know, anybody having surgery, it, it, it's scary anyway, but probably more so for you, mate, because you're type 1 diabetic. So there's a lot more riding on this surgery than just losing weight because you've got to keep your blood sugars at bay. You've got to eat properly. You know, I can eat small portions of whatever I want because I'm not diabetic, but you couldn't do that. So I totally want to validate your worries and concerns. I just want to try and say, like I said to you yesterday on Instagram, you know, look at other people's stories and see how wonderful they feel since they've lost the bulk of their weight. This this journey isn't for the faint hearted, that's for sure. But it's certainly I don't know anybody that's regretted this journey. I think it's amazing. And for you, you've just got to do a bit more of putting your trust in the health professionals that are going to deal with you and I mean that beforehand during your surgery and then afterwards you're going to have more appointments and follow-ups than any of us because they're going to want to know how you're doing more so um, and check that your blood sugars are all on a level I think I just want to try and say I'm trying to turn everything into a positive spin for you I get I get so much help and advice from people I just wanted to say that to you and to really you know this is the right thing and it's it's a good thing. My other person I wanted to say is Lizzie BRMY on Instagram. I know she was a little bit yesterday about having started exercise and maybe gaining a few pounds. I'm not sure if you've actually gained any any few pounds in the past during your journey yet, Liz. I have. I've fluctuated every now and then a couple of pounds and then they go and then I go down a bit more. Um, and I'm not quite sure if my journey of losing weight is ended yet. Am I at a maintaining stage? I'm not 100% sure. I'm not unhappy with my weight, by the way. Um, I don't want my restriction to be completely lifted, but that's another story. Back onto Liz. Um, you, are, you kind of implied yesterday, are you doing the right thing by doing exercise? And I know there's probably a lot of controversial shit out there that would say one thing and say another thing, and it's really hard to decipher what advice and um, support you need and want, but personally, I feel better for going to the gym. I feel better for doing my walks, regardless of my weight or size. The fact that I'm six stone lighter means that I can walk further and I can do more at the gym. But actually, it's not only my physical health that it's helping, it's my mental health. You know, those endorphins that go, I, I rave about them all the time. So, um, you know, it, it, it's a real difficult one. I think when you gain a couple of pounds and you're really bothered by it, you see, I, I'm not that bothered by it because I think your body fluctuates each month anyway but I just wanted to put out a positive message to you to say you know you're doing the right thing Liz you're doing everything you should be your weight's been steadily going down since you've had surgery and you're doing amazing you're doing such a good job and we're bound to again the same as you know we're all going to have bumps in the road and it's just whether you get that help and support that you need so I'm just putting it out there I'm here anybody needs any help or support I'm prepared to do that for you because I've got it from my girlfriends you know 24-7 I was in a funk this morning, but Claire and Dawn have turned me around from that. I ended up having fits of giggles, couldn't even reply to their WhatsApp because they were making me laugh so much. And that's the kind of people that you need in your life when you're feeling that. So Liz, this is out to you, my love. Um, reach out. I'm on WhatsApp. You, you know, if you need to have a chat and we can sit and have a coffee and hash over a few, few things, then I'm there. Anyway, I just wanted to put that out on YouTube. And thank you all again for watching. Bye.